Emacs has released two Express LRS transmitter modules. In this video, I'll go over some of their features and how to set them up. The larger, micro-size module fits into a standard JR module bay, like the one in the RadioMaster TX16S. The nano-size module will fit into radios with a smaller, light module bay. We have the 2.4 GHz versions, but Emacs also offers models that transmit at 915 MHz. Each of these has a USB-C port, which can be used for doing updates, as well as an XT30 port for powering up the module and setting it up over Wi-Fi. Make sure the antenna is attached before connecting power. If your radio's internal battery cannot support the full output power of the module, then you can connect a LiPo battery to get the full output that you need. The TX16S doesn't need an external battery when using this module at 1000 milliwatts. The larger module has an OLED screen with a 5D button, which makes it easy to change settings without digging through lower scripts. Long press to enter the menu, and then scroll through the menu up or down, moving right to enter a sub-menu, and pressing in to confirm selection. Move left to go back. When the green light is slowly fading in and out, it is in Wi-Fi mode. To get out of Wi-Fi mode, either move the joystick left or just repower the module. Before we flew with our module, we updated the firmware from version 3.0.0 to 3.3.0, which is currently the latest version. I did the update over Wi-Fi because it seems to be the easiest method, but you can also connect it to your computer directly with a USB-C cable. We had to use a USB-C to USB-A and then a USB-A to USB-C adapter in order for it to show up. If you prefer to update this way, all the settings should be the same except choose UART instead of Wi-Fi and then hit flash instead of just build. To update over Wi-Fi, first download and install the Express LRS configurator on your computer. Then I chose the latest version of Express LRS in the drop-down menu. And since we have the 2.4 gig version, I chose the device category of Emacs 2.4 gigahertz. Then depending on which version I was updating, I selected Nano or OLED. Flashing method is Wi-Fi. Then you can set a binding phrase or not then hit build. After that was finished, I powered on the module and waited 30 seconds for it to go into Wi-Fi mode. If you have the OLED version, you don't have to wait 30 seconds. You can just go into the menu and turn on Wi-Fi mode. Once the green light starts slowly fading in and out, you can connect to that hotspot that's created by this transmitter. The password is Express LRS. Then in a browser, I entered this IP address. Here you can see the current version of the Express LRS firmware. I updated the firmware using the bin file I just created. Once that was finished, I attached it to my radio and set up a model for Express LRS. Your radio might be different, but I'll show you briefly what I did to get this working on my TX16S running Edge TX version 2.8.4. First, I duplicated a model that I already had. In this case, it was an FR Sky. I renamed it and then changed the RF mode from internal to external. Initially, when I pressed the system button, I did not see an Express LRS Lua script. So I downloaded the Lua script, took the SD card out of my radio, plugged it into my computer, and copied it into the proper folder. After putting the card back in the radio, my Lua script was there, and all the options that were available on the OLED screen were also available using the radio's interface. Here are the settings that I've been using, and they seem to be working pretty well. I made sure that the power level was dynamic, the max level was at 1000 milliwatts, and the packet rate was at 250 hertz. After doing that, I was ready to bind. Since I did set a binding phrase on the module, any quads with that same binding phrase will automatically link up and I don't have to do any manual binding. If your quad does not have a binding phrase, regardless of whether or not the radio has a binding phrase, you'll have to power on the quad three times in order to put it in binding mode. Then you'll have to manually go into binding mode on your radio, either using the Lua script or using the 5D button on the module. If your radio is not set up with a binding phrase, but your quad does have a binding phrase, I don't think there's a way to link them up in that situation. Also, if you have a brand new quad with an Express LRS receiver, it might automatically go into binding mode when you power it up. You can tell by the double flashing orange light. If you're new to Express LRS, 
Hopefully this video was helpful to you. We've still got a lot to learn, so if you want to share any tips with us, please do leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drum. Is it not bound? Oh, it's bound. <laughs> it's totally bound. Holy crap, that's awesome.